All right, we're going to talk about a new way to cool off in Cortland today. That splash pad is open. So sitting poolside, that's going to be a very popular thing to do this weekend. And that, of course, means staying safe when you're out by the pool. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed picks up the story from here. More than 100 people showed up to enjoy the grand opening of the Cortland Splash Pad at Pearl Street Park. It has fountains and other neat sprinklers kids of all ages can enjoy. It was just ironic that it came in at the hottest part of the year. So what a great way to kick off Memorial Day in summer, but to have the warm weather and the splash pad available for them to come out. And you can see by the crowd here, it's, it's been a hit. Several pools across the valley open their doors for the season, too. Big crowds are expected on Monday, and aquatic staff want to make sure parents and kids are prepared to keep the fun safe. Kids, and especially infants, can drown in just an inch of water if their mouth and nose are submerged. A child advocacy group found out only about one-third of parents know that water is one of the top killers of kids. Like there's no substitute for supervision. Even when kids can swim, they make poor decisions because they're young. One mom I caught up with at the Y in Boardman today said keeping constant watch and communication with her kids on their whereabouts has helped her keep them safe. They know exactly where our chairs are. They know to check back with us frequently and to let me know if they're going to go to a different area of the pool. The lifeguards are there as your second defense. Like you as parents should be the first defense watching your kids. And if something happens that you can't do to control your kids or to help your kids or your kids get out of, into trouble, that's when the lifeguard would step in. Chris Hughes says to test your kids' abilities if they don't go swimming often before you set them free. If you aren't comfortable, set up boundaries in the pool they can't cross. In Boardman, Molly Reed, WKBN 27 First News.